Coach, we'll, we'll start with last year. I mean, obviously one of, the, one of the better years in program history, you make it back to the NCAA tournament. What did you like about last year's group and the way that you guys competed to the end? Well, I really liked the experience. So um, when you make it to the NCAA tournament and really um, have a great tournament team, it takes experience, it takes seniors, it takes players who have been in your program and know the expectations, understand the league, and and really what getting to postseason is all about. So really I'm, I'm grateful for those six seniors who helped guide us for the last four years, but also into the NCAA tournament last year. Yeah, it's a, it's a new group. You know, you mentioned that experience. Where, where are you kind of seeing some of the younger players step up or who has taken on those leadership roles for you now that those, those guys are gone? Well, our most experienced returner right now is Rebecca Fugate, and she has definitely shown signs of, of leadership on and off the court. Um, I, you know, I think there's opportunity for, you know, a number of our young ladies to step up and, and be leaders for us. Um, so that that's going to be critical. And, you know, it's not, it can't be forced. It needs to be something that, um, a role that they're ready to, to take on and, and also one that their teammates migrate to. So it's a little bit of a process, I think. Um, and I think that, you know, we still have time to develop that. But it is a, a new look. Uh, six seniors, as I mentioned, from last year's season off and in the work, workforce. And six new players joined us, four freshmen and two transfers. So opportunity to, to for, you know, leaders to emerge. Um, but also just an opportunity to um, have a new look and have some new faces um, be the face of our, our program. And those new faces, like you mentioned, just you played some freshmen last year, now they're sophomores. You bring another good freshman class this year, what, who, and you bring in a couple of transfers. What, of the new faces that you see, who have you liked so far in practice and in those early season scrimmages? Well, I, I think that Ashley Bauer is really going to be a special player in the GLIAC. Um, she is sees the floor, she is incredibly unselfish. Um, so she just makes, she has such great point guard qualities. She can score it, she can pass, uh, she can defend, she can deflect passes. Um, probably the, the one thing that she'll, she'll have to learn to grow into is being more vocal. Um, but I, I expect that she is going to, to help us this year. Um, I think uh, Taylor Thompson brings an athleticism to our program that we haven't had in a long time. And uh, I go back to players like uh, Janae Williams, who became an all-league player for us, but was a transfer um, after spending one year away at a, a Division One school. So, so Taylor really brings some athleticism to our team. And um, I'm looking forward to getting Shea Tripp back on the floor. She had a really a solid freshman year um, and was playing that with injury, uh, with COVID. At one point, I think she had had a concussion. She had a month off. So a lot of different obstacles. And she spent the last six months really um, training and getting herself healthy and getting herself stronger. And, you know, she's definitely been, um, you know, a, a noticeable player for us in practice. And okay, let's talk about the schedule a little bit. I mean, you open up with Ashland, obviously a, per a perennial great team every year, then you see you see teams like Walsh, I mean you got a pretty tough non-conference schedule, then the GLIAC's always tough. Talk about that schedule and just how navigating that, that schedule will be for you guys. Yeah, it, it's definitely a, a tough one, right? Um, two, bet, two of the better teams out of the GMAC. Um, I just think that um, we're, we just need to hit it head on. Um, I feel like if you can prepare for Ashland, I think you can prepare for anyone. and. This is definitely going to be a, a, a great test. They come with a ton of experience. Um, I think that they return their, their lineup and, and added uh, two really solid GLIAC transfers uh, it, to, to Ashland. So I know that they're going to be uh, um, just improved in the guard position as well. So all around, I mean, Ashland always presents with you know speed and athleticism. Um, they always put five players who can score. Um, so again, I think it's it's a tough test early, but it's a good test early because they I think they'll be one of the better teams in the region this year. Yeah, last one for you. Just in terms of expectations for this group, where do you see just kind of the ceiling for this team? How do you how do you think you guys are going to play basketball this year? 
That's a great question that I really, I don't know. Um, you know, in the last couple of years, it felt like we had a certain identity, um, and we had some consistency in, and again, that senior class. So um, I'm not sure. Um, it, it's going to be a little different, um, probably not uh, as much of, um, we ran a lot of our stuff through Sam Churney, and um, that obviously is going to be different. Um, I don't know yet exactly. We're working on a couple of different things, um, but for the most part, what I can tell you is that they're very unselfish. They're incredibly team-oriented, and what we might lack in talent or athleticism, we certainly make up for it in, in toughness and togetherness. So it's been a fun group, um, and I'm, I'm really looking forward to the season.